Hello, strong people. It is week six, day one. Good news. It is not oppressively hot in here. It's still hot, don't get me wrong. But I don't think it's life-threatening like it felt like it was last week. So we got log press today. We have three sets of three, clean and press each rep between 300 pounds and 320 pounds. I've already done some warm-ups, still have some more to do, and then we'll get into it. I don't really have much else to say. Slept pretty good, ate pretty good, not too hot, should be pretty well hydrated. Let's see how it goes. Uh, log press went very good today. I had high hopes coming into it. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, warming up felt really good. No issues there. You, there's always certain weights when you're warming up that, like, if you know, if they move well, if they feel light, then you know you're going to have a good day. And that's pretty much where I was from the first the first rep the very first rep and it stayed that way the whole way up i went to did a set of uh one two at 250 i think that flew made the jump to 300 for a single real quick that flew went to 320 which is my uh my numbers today were 300 to 320 so i'm always aiming for that upper end and we got it today so it was three sets of three at 320, clean and press every rep. Uh, I think my the first set is kind of a feeler set. Did it in like 37 seconds, I think, which I know I could be way faster. So the, uh, la uh, the second set was around 33 seconds, so I shaved off like four seconds there. And that just made me more mad because I know I can do it under 30. So my only goal for that last set was to be under 30 seconds. And I nailed that. I got, uh, it was other 24 or 27. Either way, it was definitely under 30. Almost messed up the last, uh, the last rep a little bit, caught it out in front, but we recovered. It's still, I don't want to say light. It's, if I had to guess, it's probably above 90% of comp weight or at least around there. So if I'm able to lose that weight and then rein it back in, that's a good sign too. Obviously, I don't want to do that on game day. I want it to be, I want them to be smooth reps. But knowing that I can miss groove and still kind of fight through it and get the rep, that's kind of helpful too. But we moved on. To, so no complaints there. There was leg drive felt great. It felt like everything clicked today. Cleans were phenomenal. 
Not so much on the first set because I was being a little timid, but they got way better towards the end. After that, we uh, it was four sets of four strict press. Let's see. I did one set at 250 just to feel it, feel it out. I was like, well, that felt easy. So we went up to 280. And I did my four by four there. I was definitely getting a little bit tired here and there. Some reps were a little wobbly. Lost one out in front, lost one behind. But no, no missed reps. No, I ended up getting all reps, all sets. So no real issues there. All in all, that was, I have no, no complaints about that log day. That was great. So moving forward, I think I have some wide grip, low rows, I think. Some tricep accessories, I think some lockout holds. I don't know. We'll see what I record. All right, I'm going to call the recording there. Good press day. Really good press day. Log great. Uh, rows were great. I, this late in prep, there's really not... Accessories are pretty minimal. There's still the same amount of accessories, but the uh, typically the uh, sets and reps are pretty low. And... Like I only had sets of five and one AMRAP on the uh, low wide row. And my center back, upper back, it's all annihilated. Feels great. Well, depends how you look at it. I, I like it. Uh, then you saw me do, what did I do? Single arm lat pull down. Now, usually these things are supposed to be done with um, dumbbells or on like my cable machine. But there's something about doing it with bands that I think is almost better. It's that constant tension as well as you have to uh, balance the weight. You have to stabilize it. So I like doing that more. And then you saw me supersetting it with some uh, rear delt flies. I don't do that way all the time. But I've done it a lot this prep, so I, I like that way a lot more. Seated like that, it takes a lot of the body English out of it. And I feel it pretty much only in my rear delts, a little bit upper back. That felt good, though. I had some uh, dumbbell lateral, or yeah, dumbbell lateral raises. Those are okay. They're lat raises. They are what they are. Uh, what else do I have? I did the lockout holds. Not really a fan of those, but it is what it is. And I think that was about it. I don't know. I always get a little bit loopy towards the end of these sessions. But I feel like there's something I was going to say, but like I don't remember what it was, so it probably can't be that important, right? All right. Anyway, we got deadlifts tomorrow and sandbag, of course. God, I hate, I hate sandbag. I don't care if I ever do it again after this. It's whew, makes me so angry. But that's part of the fun of strongman. New challenges, like 
pretty much every show, you hardly ever have the exact same event. Sometimes you will, obviously, but there's so many different variables. It keeps training entertaining. It's probably why I love it so much, because it's something new every time. I think it's more generalized strength, picking up awkward things, running with it, picking up awkward things, loading it, picking up awkward things, impressing it. Pretty much what we just do really dumb stuff for fun. I don't know why. No idea. But I'm going to keep doing it because I like it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.